In this video, I will show you how you can use Blender with Stable Diffusion that is running on Google Colab. First, we will set up the plugin for Blender, then we will run Stable Diffusion on a Google Colab notebook, and then we will use the plugin in Blender to generate some AI images. Before we start, welcome to the channel. Here you can find topics about Linux, Docker, game dev, or software development in general, or short, agile dev art. If you like that kind of content, then give a like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos. All the necessary links from this video are down in the description and also down there are the timestamps, so you can skip any part if you want. If you like AI generated images, then you will definitely like the sponsor of this video. Thanks to Creative Fabrica for sponsoring this video. If you are looking for creative digital art and graphics, then you should definitely check out Creative Fabrica. It is one of the largest marketplaces for creators and designers, with a library of over 6 million fonts, graphics and digital print-on-demand assets. Recently, Creative Fabrica launched their first AI image generator called CF Spark. Using CF Spark, you can create images that are 100% unique, you can download your own unique creations or publish them on the platform for paid use by other members and that way monetize your AI creations. You can try it out for free or with a monthly $9 subscription. With the subscription, you get 1000 speed credits that allow you to jump to the top of the queue and get your AI images first without waiting in line. In addition to regular discounts and daily deals, they also have a contest where you can win store credits with your AI designs created in CF Spark. So if you are interested, you can check out the link in the upper right corner or down in the description and unleash your creativity today with Creative Fabrica. The plugin that I will show you in this video is called AI Render. It is a Blender plugin and with this one you can render AI images with stable diffusion in Blender. Now it does not say it here, but if you go to Blender Market and scroll down, here it says for this one to work you will need a free account at Dream Studio. So this plugin will work with Stable Diffusion that is running in the cloud at Dream Studio. So you can create a free account there, but rendering images will require Dream Studio credits and you will need to pay for that. So it's not free. Now you don't need to use Dream Studio. Instead, you can use a local installation of Stable Diffusion, and this one will run on your machine, and that means that you will need a good GPU and a supported GPU to run this one. So, those are the two options that they offer. As you can see, they don't offer Google Colab, so the plugin will not work out of the box, but I will show you how you can change the plugin to make it work with Google Colab. First, we need to download the plugin, so go to GitHub, Releases page, here, let's download the latest version, here it is. Now instead of installing this one directly in Blender, let's unzip this one. And now inside, go to SD Backends, Automatic 111. Now this Python script here handles the communication with the installed Stable Diffusion server on your local machine. So this is the case with local Stable Diffusion installation. Now the idea is to modify this one to work with Stable Diffusion on Google Colab instead. In a previous video I showed you a Stable Diffusion plugin for GIMP, where Stable Diffusion is running on Google Colab, and in this video we will use the same Google Colab backend that the GIMP plugin is using. If you are interested how to generate AI images in GIMP using Stable Diffusion, then you can check out the link to the video up there or down in the description. So I have prepared a replacement file. Now here in Visual Studio Code I will just briefly go through the changes that I did in the file. On the left hand side you can see the old version and on the right hand side you can see my changes. And basically the only important change I did was changing the server URL to the Google Colab endpoint, then reading the generated images is a bit different, error handling changes and of course the parameters that are sent to Google Colab are different as well. And that's basically all I did here. So let's take the new file, here is the new file and let's overwrite the old one, replace. You can find this one down in the description. And now let's go back to downloads and let's again make a zip out of the plugin. And now here I have the modified plugin. Before we install this one in Blender, let's set up the Google Colab backend first. This is the Google Colab backend for the GIMP plugin. And as I said, we will use this one also for Blender. You can find the link down in the description. Now in the previous video where I showed you how you can use the GIMP plugin, I also walked you through this Google Colab setup. So in this video I will skip the boring stuff and go straight to the interesting part. So let's run the cells here. Now in this step you will need to select the Stable Diffusion model. You can use the default one from Hugging Face, but I have a custom model that is on my Google Drive. Here it is. 
I trained this model with images of my cat and now I can use this one to generate AI images of my cat and I made a whole video about it. So if you want to know how to train stable diffusion with custom images then you can check out the link to the video up there or down in the description. Now to use this custom model just right click on it, copy path, then show code and here copy the path to the custom checkpoint path like that and then set model checkpoint to custom like that and run the cell. Alright, it's using my model, so that's okay. Now run the last cell running. The backend is now waiting for requests. And now here we will need to save this link here. So copy it. We will need to use this one with the Blender plugin. So leave this cell running and let's go over to Blender. Now finally we are in Blender. So let's install the plugin first. Go to Edit, References, Add-ons, then Install. And now here find the modified plugin. This is it in my case and install. Here it is. Let's activate it. Expand. And now find the advanced local installation. Expand it. And in here, check enable rendering. And for the local web server URL, paste in the previously copied link from Google Colab. We can close this one now. Now the plugin is installed and ready to use. So let's try it out. I prepared another scene. This one. And I used this mouse model in a game I made a few years ago by the name Snappy Mouse Run. It is available on Google Play and App Store. It's free. So if you're interested, you can check out the link to the game up there or down in the description. Now let's try out the plugin. I have a simple scene here. A little mouse with a cheese cube. And behind is a brick wall. If I check out the camera, so this will be rendered. Or in our case, sent to Stable Diffusion. Now let's try it out. Go to Render. You should see AI Render. My head is in the way. There it is. And here select enable. I'll make this one a bit bigger like that. And now here for the prompt, I will write a mouse eating cheese in front of a brick wall. All right. Here you can choose a style. I will choose a cute one. This one, for instance. Now under advanced options, you can set additional parameters like image similarity, steps, prompt strength, and the sampler, but for this modified version of the plugin, the sampler will not work. It will always take the default one that's set in Google Colab, but other parameters should work. Now for this one, I will set steps to about 80. Everything else I will leave on default. And let's try it out. Go to render, render image. Here you can see the image was sent to Google Colab and it's generating. Let's go back to Blender. All right, now this is what we get. Let's try another one. I will zoom the camera a bit like that and maybe rotate it. All right. Now let's try out a different style. For instance, this one. And let's try 100 steps. Everything else is okay. Render, render image. All right. Interesting. And that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Sorry for the bad voice. I'm a bit sick, but the show must go on. So if you like the video, if you like my content, if you think it's helpful, then please give a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. See you in the next one. Bye.